for the following exercises. Consider the graph shown and estimate the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing. All right, so just remember the terms increasing, what the terms increasing uh, or decreasing mean, right? Increasing basically means going up or AKA you're starting low and ending high. And decreasing means then like coming down, right? Or you're starting high with something and ending low. All right. Now, the best way to approach this particular question is to first identify the max and mins, all right? Whether the local max, a local min, or absolute max, whatever, uh, that really doesn't matter. Um, but in terms of what you see on the graph, identify the maxes and minimums, or the maxima and minima. So if I look at this particular point right here, now it looks like to me it lies just to the left of negative three, but I'm just gonna assume it's negative three just to make it easy. Um, so I, I realize here that this is the top of a hill, right? This graph kind of looks like a hill over here, and this is the top of the hill, so that must be some maximum of some sort. And I realize over here, here's another little hill, right? I mean, we can look at it as a valley, and I realize that there is a certain low point to that hill or valley, and therefore this is a minimum, okay? So I'll actually, you know what, why don't I just write those in? Min, and this will be max, okay. Now, uh, that actually helps us for, I guess, the next question, but um, really to help identify increasing or decreasing, this is the best way to start it. Now, after you identify the mins and maxes, draw a vertical line through them, okay? What this helps do is it helps break the graph up into three important sections in this problem, all right? First, we're gonna to analyze to the left, then in the middle, and then to the right, okay? So I'm, I'm only concerned right now about this particular section right here. And what I'm gonna do in order to identify whether this uh, graph is increasing or decreasing over this interval, I'm going to read the graph from left to right, meaning I'm going to start on the leftmost side of this line and then go all the way on over to the rightmost side. And then I'm gonna look and say, well, if I started low and I ended high, then we must have increased, right? I mean, that's basically what increasing means. So I know that this particular interval will be an increasing interval, right? So let me write that over here. So increasing, now I'm gonna write the actual interval. Remember, this graph goes on and on and on forever and ever and ever in this direction. That means it goes on and on and on and on forever in the x direction, right? To the left, that is. So it goes all the way on out to negative infinity. And then the rightmost side will be at, it appears to be about negative three. Again, we're not going to include that value because negative three actually would be kind of both the increasing side and I probably can figure out what this side's gonna be on the decreasing side. We actually, so we actually don't include it. We're just gonna use the parenthesis instead of the bracket. Anyway, uh, for the second part of the question where I'm looking at this part now of the graph, so let me trace that as best I can. And now I'm gonna start on the leftmost side of that segment, go to the rightmost side of that segment. I realize I'm starting high, I am ending low. That sounds like we are decreasing, right? So that is a decreasing interval. And now I'm gonna put the X values right over which that interval occurs. So it looks like it goes from negative three all the way on out to positive three now. Okay, great. And then last but not least, we have now the last segment here. Uh, and I'm gonna start, put a little star at the beginning, the leftmost side, the rightmost side. I realize I'm starting low, I'm ending high. That sounds like it's increasing. So I'm going to add that or make a union with that uh, over my increasing interval. And I realize that it's going to go from three, right? This point has an X value of three. And this graph will continue on and on and on and on forever. And that means that it also continues on and on and on and on forever in the right and direction, right? So it's gonna go all the way out to infinity. All right. Now this will be, or this, these are the answers. Simple, not bad. All right, and now the second question, it says estimate the points or point at which the graph of F has a local maximum or a local minimum. So first of all, we already, we've already done that, right? I mean, we've already realized that there's a point here that represents the maximum as, as we spoke about. There's a point over here that represents the minimum. So let's just list the points, right? What's the point of the maximum over here? Well, the X value of that point is negative three. 
And the y value of that point, if I were to draw a little horizontal line here, looks like it might be about 50, right? If I were to look over here, it's between 60 and 40. So it sounds to me like it's about 50, all right? So that's about 50, okay? I use the brackets now over here because I'm, you know, that's the notation for a point, right? Um, these are, this is not an interval anymore. This is an X and a Y coordinate. All right. These are, has nothing to do with intervals where these are both X coordinates now. Okay. Uh, I know it's confusing. <laughs> Hence math. Okay. So now let's just write down the minimum and the minimum point now is going to be three. Right, it has an X value of three, and then the Y value appears to me like it's probably somewhere around uh, negative 50 now or so. So I'll write down negative 50. All right, and I'll just write down over here that this is the minimum and this is the maximum. Okay, so now the only thing I have to really talk about is what does this word local mean? Well, I mean, it kind of means the you know, if you were to think about what does local mean to you, it kind of means close to you, right? I visit the local pizzeria, I go out for a slice of pizza, I don't know, even though we can at the moment. Um, you know, we we realize that these terms um, do have some meaning in everyday language, and that can help us then identify what it means here. So this graph right over here on the right-hand side, remember, it goes on and on and on and on and on forever down this way, and it goes on and on and on and on forever that way. So it really has no absolute maximum or minimum, right? Because this thing goes all the way on out to negative infinity, okay? And then in the y direction, that is. And this thing goes all the way out to positive infinity. So the absolute maxes and mins, there really isn't any. It goes on and on forever. But some of the local maximum or mins, right, we can identify. So um, these values here, the maximums and minimums that we have identified are by basically definition are uh, local maxes and local mins, all right? It's kind of like just saying, you know, if you were to look out your window, right? And I'm gonna ask you, hey, find the local maximum of your of your topography, right? Of, of, of the land outside. And you were to look and you say, oh, right, the neighbor's property, that guy has a big hill over there. That must be the local max, right? That's the highest point, you know, from, uh, from where I can see. But is that the highest point on the earth in, Overall, the absolute highest point? No, right? If you had to give me that answer, you'd say, well, it's Mount Everest, all right? Same thing as far as local mins, right? You say, oh, yeah, right, I got a low point, my backyard floods, right? Uh, all the water collects, that's the local minimum around this area, all right? But is that the lowest point on Earth? No, the lowest point on Earth, the absolute minimum would be the Marianas Trench, all right? So it's kind of the same thing here when you're looking at the graphs. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and tell your friends. We'd appreciate it so much, and we'll see you next time. Take care.